What's going on guys, Seth here from Team Union Seth, here for our week three team builder in the SSS, the Seasonal Sawsbuck Showdown League. Um, we are going up against the Sonderhazen Sableyes, I believe is the team name. Um, right now we are 2-0, uh, I'm not actually sure what our differential is, uh, and I believe the Sableyes are 0-2, uh, if I am not mistaken. Uh, but definitely not taking their team lightly. Um, as you guys can see on screen, they have a team of Sableye, Salazzle, who is their offensive Z user, Beware, Mudsdale, Gogo, Heatmore, Tornadus Incarnate, Fortress, Dunsparce, who is their unlimited Z user, um, Cradilly, Mr. Mime, and Gumshoes. So, um, definitely a little bit scary of a team. Um, in terms of what I think he is going to bring, uh, I am looking at Sableye, Salazzle, uh, Tornadus, Fortress, Cradilly, and Mr. Mime. Just based on what I have uh, on my team, um, I feel like those Mons have the best matchup and have the best synergy against my team. If you don't know my team uh, by this point, check out the... Uh, I didn't do, actually do a draft analysis for this one, but I kind of did like a, a mini draft analysis in my first team builder video for week one. Uh, also watch the other couple of weeks in there, so feel free to check those out as well. But we're going to get into the team. I didn't go super hard on the calcs for this week. I decided to just, just kind of go with the flow. Pick mons that I felt worked well. Um, work speed as I normally do. Thinking in terms of speed tiers, out, out speeding certain mons. And I built how I've been building in this league. Is I decided one or two mons that were really good in the matchup that I felt were, were did really well. And then... Um, and then I built around those mons mainly. So, we are finally bringing Cap, our Tyrantrum, uh, with the Fire EMZ and Rockhead, Dragon Dance, Fire Fang, Head Smash, and Superpower, 252 in attack, 76 in special defense, 180 in speed with the Jolly Nature. The speed allows us to outspeed the Slazzle if we are at plus one from our Dragon Dance. The Fire EMZ is for the Fortress. We do... I believe at, yeah, at plus one, we can we can almost kill the fortress, but if we get hazards up, which you will see later on in the team, we definitely kill the fortress at plus one with the fire EMZ. I think we actually might kill it at neutral. I don't remember the calc exactly, uh, but we will, we're, we're going to take that thing out. So I'm really looking forward to Cap doing really well in this, this matchup. Head Smash destroys his team. If we can get this thing to plus one, we can just click Head Smash. It's going to be a really tough time. I mean, things that can potentially stop this from sweeping are the Beware and the Mudsdale. Well, Beware is going to be weak to fire, so we can potentially Fire Fang or Fire EMZ. Uh, Mudsdale, I have to get rid of the Mudsdale if I want to be able to sweep with this thing, but I'm not too, too worried about that. Cradilly can take some hits, which is kind of why we have the super power there, but a plus one head smash is still going to do a ton of damage. I think it actually does more. It does, a, it does slightly more than a, a super power, but... We shall see if I don't want to miss. Stuff like that. But I really think Cap has a good matchup. I think it's going to do really well in this game. And we did basically build around it. The special defense is there just to be able to take some hits from things like uh, things like the Salazzle. And HPI is from Salazzle, so does a lot. But we can eat up hits. The fire and the poison moves really well. So not too worried about that thing. Next up, we have Wong, our almost star, with the Focus Sash and Weak Armor. Stealth Rock, Spikes, Hidden Power, Fire, and Ice Beam. 8 in defense, 252 in special attack, 248 in speed with the modest nature. The uh, This is going to be our lead. I don't necessarily plan on getting up both hazards right away. I definitely want to get up one of the hazards, so, uh, Stealth Rock or Spike. He only has two hazard removers uh, with Defog on the Tornadus and Rapid Spin on the Fortress. If the Fortress comes, it's definitely going to have Rapid Spin. And if the Torn comes, I'm not sure if it'll have Defog. It might, but... There are better moves you can use on Torn, so we'll see what happens there. Hazards are, are a huge part of my strategy, so I really want to make sure those get goes get up. I decided to not bring Webb this week, as you can see with the team, because his team is so slow to begin with. His only actually fast mons would be the Salazzle at 117 and the Tornadus at 111. Everything else is base 90 or lower. I mean, there's Mr. Mime at base 90. Everything else is below 70 there. So really not a fast team. I didn't feel like webs was completely necessary. So I just decided to go with some other hazards. 
But this is going to be our most likely lead. I'm, I'm definitely going to lead with this thing. Get up at least one hazard, potentially two, a, a rock and a spike. HP Fire is there for if he leads with Fortress or switches into it. And then Ice Beam is there for things like the, the Tornadus, the Go-Go, uh, Mudsdale, just so this thing can do some damage. Um, but I can potentially get a hazard up and then switch out and save this thing for later. It can do some decent damage to some stuff if I notice that like the Go-Go is defensive. Excuse me, it can, it can outpace the Mudsdale and do some damage there, so... We have some options, uh, but we shall see how we want to play the Omasar. But going to lead with it, get up a hazard to start, and then go from there depending on the team that he brings. Next up, we have Sentry, our x Cloud with the Metronome and Scrappy. We have Boom Burst, Surf, Flamethrower, and Focus Blast. 64 in HP, 252 in Special Attack, 192 in Speed with the Timid Nature. The Speed... Uh, for almost are the speed outspeeds uh, Dunsparce, by the way. But the speed on x Cloud, we outspeed a Beware plus an Adamant Go-Goat. Uh, if the Go-Goat's Jolly, we don't outspeed it, but it's honestly less of a threat if it's Jolly. Um, Tyrantrum can take it on decently if it is Jolly, and so can, as you see, uh, we have Namor, the, the Quillfish, and we have Whimsicott as well. So those can take it on decently, especially if it's Jolly. It's not as big of a threat. But I was thinking about choice specs again this week. Specs x Cloud is just so, so good. But I decided against it and to go with Metronome. I don't plan on really clicking much other than Boom Burst. So the Metronome will, will build that power anyway. But I do have things like the Focus Blast for the Cradley. Um, Flamethrower is there for the Fortress. Not that I really need it. I'm pretty sure Boom Burst is still 2 KOs anyway. Um, Surf is there for the, the Mudsdale which I think Boom Burst does more anyway, but again, it's just there if necessary. Really not other moves that I really wanted to, to put on this thing, so uh, we'll see how we how we work with, with x Um Yeah, and I don't think there's any other, other specific set details. We have Namor, our Quillfish, up next with the Splash Plate and Intimidate. This set's pretty interesting. We have Aqua Jet, Toxic, Taunt, and Destiny Bond. 128 in HP, 240 in attack, 140 in speed with the Adamant Nature. Um, Aqua Jet kills Salazzle. <laughs> I wrote Aqua Jet kills Salazzle with Aqua Jet. I don't know why. Aqua Jet kills Salazzle after rocks. Um, yeah, it, we kill Salazzle after rocks with the Aqua Jet 100% of the time. I mean, unless it's HP invested or defense invested, but I really don't think it will be. Um, and we outspeed the Beware with, uh, with this speed investment, which again, outspeeds Adam and go Goat as well. So, really didn't need attacks on this thing for what I wanted it to do this week. Uh, it's here to intimidate. It's here to help take on some of its physical threats. It's here to toxic. It's here to taunt some things, like potentially the fortress. And then it's here to destiny bond because because this team is so slow, I can take advantage of destiny bond, and and potentially use that to use that to take something down, take something that's a threat. Maybe the beware, maybe the mudsdale, uh, tornadus potentially even. So we'll see how quillfish does in this matchup. The splash plate um, allows us to to take out the Salazzle. If that thing is a threat, if it gets set up, it can do a lot to my team. So Namor is here just kind of as a fail safe if the Salazzle gets set up and to help handle some of the more physical threats and taunt and toxic some things as well. Next up, we have Loki, our Whimsicott with the Choice Specs and Infiltrator, Moonblast, Energy Ball, Hidden Power, Fire, and U-Turn, 100 in Defense, 252 in Special Attack, 156 in Speed with the Modest Nature. The Speed allows us to outspeed the Mr. Mime if it is Timid Max Speed. U-Turn is there just for momentum. I know U-Turn on a spec set is kind of weird, but it does work, just giving me a little bit of momentum to work with if I want to, if I don't necessarily want to stay in or if I'm predicting a switch. And then the Choice Specs, like Choice Specs, Modest, Max Special Attack, with only 77 special attack, you wouldn't think it would do a lot, but I have such, like, Whimsicott has such a good matchup against this team. We have Moonblast for the Sableye, Moonblast for the Beware, Energy Ball for the, the Muzzdale, HP Fire for Go Goat and Fortress. We have, um, I mean, the only thing that really stops this, the Salazzle and the Heatmore are the only things that really stop it. Only one of them's coming. He's definitely not going to bring both of them, and this thing is not here to take on Salazzle anyway. So. It, we just have a really good matchup with the Whimsicott. I can really start to wear down some of his walls or potential threats with my Whimsicott and then get out of there or let it die and then go into something like Tyrantrum or x Cloud to break down some more walls. So this is really here just to be a, a general wall breaker and help me set up for the Tyrantrum sweep potentially or even an x Cloud sweep if it comes to that. And last but not least, we have Doctor Strange, our Kadabra, with the Choice Scarf and Magic Guard, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Hidden Power, Fire, and Energy Ball. 
12 in HP, 252 in special attack, 244 in speed with the modest nature. This thing is choice car for the Salazzle, another fail safe or just potentially to catch him off guard with uh, with a scarf scarf Cadabra. Um, it also handles any potential scarfers, so we do outspeed. I mean, obviously we outspeed a non-scarf tornadoes, but if he wants to run a scarfer like something uh, something like Mr. Mime, we outspeed that no matter what. Uh, and then we can out outspeed other potential scarfers like the Dunsparce. Um, you know, if he wants to slap a scarf on Beware or Musdale. I doubt it, but it's possible. Um, and that's pretty much it. This thing is here just to, an again, another wall breaker to do some damage, uh, threaten some things out, and cover just generally for the team. So a lot of wall breaking power on this team. Very offensive as I'm kind of going with this season. And then everything leading up, setting up for that Tyrantrum sweep. Cap is finally coming. I'm very excited for our first round pick to finally be here, hitting the field, hopefully, uh, and hopefully coming through with a really good match. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be on the lookout for the battle coming out tomorrow. Um, I think that's about it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the team, the matchup, all that good stuff. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.